We are at the beginning stages of Mercury retrograde. It's such a fine time of year for me. Whenever we get into these retrograde periods throughout the year, it brings forward an awesome opportunity for growth. Doesn't always feel so good. In fact, I feel like crap. I have the past few days, very dense, heavy energy, which is all the energy that is coming up to be alchemized and to be felt. Now, kind of paradoxical, right? When we're going through this ascension process, this spiral staircase, we get into these periods of feeling really heavy and really down, but that's when the greatest growth occurs. Everything gets obscured. Our plans for the future, what we're supposed to be doing, our connection with our guides, it all kind of goes away temporarily because we're in the presence of this thick fog. And that's what happens with Mercury retrograde as the planet starts moving or appears to be moving backwards. We tend to feel like we're going backwards. And that's exactly how I feel right now. If you guys are experiencing that as well, drop a comment. I would love to to hear from you, at least know that I'm not alone in this process. And like I've said, the energy has been so heavy recently um, that I just feel like I've been all cut off. But what, is, what does this mean? What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to just kind of hunker down and, and cry and not do anything? I know there's a lot of emotional release. And if you're releasing emotions that way, awesome. Don't hold it in, but fully feel it. Allow whatever is coming up through you to move through you and fully, fully feel it. But I want you to create space in the midst of that and know that what is happening within you is you are alchemizing that dense energy. You are not that emotion. You are processing that, that emotion. And I think we get confused with that. Um, I know it's very easy, especially now with Mercury retrograde. We've just had the 9-9 portal, full moon energy still here. Um, we want to identify with the heaviness that comes up. And I've had that too. You know, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough and things of that. These are feelings that are coming up to be fully, fully felt. So again, it's very important during these periods of time, portal times, lion's gate, retrogrades, uh, whatever it may be, to not identify with the external event or the emotions that come up, but to hold the space and allow those emotions to live. Allow them to live with you, within you. That's how we process them. So if you feel like breaking down and crying, cry, 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 but fully feel it and bring love forward in its presence. These emotions are not you. You are alchemizing them. They have been stuck within your physical body and they are coming up to be released. So these events are really a gift. They are giving you an opportunity to grow and rise in frequency. And as we do that, our physical body actually rises in frequency and we get to view earth from a higher frequency perspective. It's not just appearing there etherically or by locating to new earth. We actually start to take the steps to move towards that version of earth that new reality. And that's what we're here to do. We need to take our physical body with us. And in order to do that, we don't want to escape the physical body and go etheric, as I like to say, and try to, to send our etheric body out into 5D. We want to bring our physical body up through 4D and into 5D. And it's showing us exactly what needs to be released. It's showing us the way to do that. The way to do that is to honor and love everything that is passing through it, all the energy that is moving through it, all the emotions and all the thoughts, give the space and hold the space to allow those to be so they can fully be acknowledged and fully be felt. That is the path. Think of that as your yellow brick road, right? To, to new earth, to 5D. Follow the emotions, give space to the emotions, give space to the thoughts and alchemize this density. It's happening all around the planet. The light workers know this. You guys as light workers are feeling this. You're feeling the heaviness, but you know now that it's not you, that you're just feeling it because it's coming up to be healed. And the more of us that can acknowledge that, hold that space and do that work, the breath work, the meditating, grounding into the planet, the more we're going to assist the collective and our star guides, our star family in alchemizing the density 
that can no longer be anchored in the planet because the planet is of a higher frequency. It's up to be alchemized, just like the trauma hides in our body until we start to rise in frequency and then it comes up. It is up. It has come up on a planetary level. It is no longer able to be stuck within the planetary body. It has risen and we are here to alchemize that just like we've done it within ourselves. We are doing it collectively. And the more we do that, the more people will awaken, they will come online, and this process will move even faster. Guys, we have a new timeline ready to emerge. We are so close. I know many of you can feel that timeline, a much higher frequency timeline. When we look out into reality, we're seeing all this crazy stuff. And again, that is because these events, these players, they cannot continue to live or project the energy in the way they're projecting it. It can no longer be sustained by the planet. The planet's frequency is too high. So it's time for us to get involved, to step more into our roles and assist with the process of collecting, of, of assist in the process of clearing the collective energy. And we are going to make a sharp trajectory towards a new version of Earth. It is so exciting. Thank you.